Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. This is section 7.2, unions and intersections of events uh, in uh, probability, in the chapter 7, which is about probability. So, events determine subsets of the sample space. This is the definition of the event. It's subset of the sample space. Uh, sample space of the, exper the probability experiment. Well, here in this section, we will talk about intersection of two events, union of two events, complement of an event. So the definition of the intersection, if E and F are two events in a sample space, the intersection of these two events would contain all the numbers A, where A is in E and in F. So it has to be in both E and F to be there in the intersection. This is the intersection. So the elements here are the elements in the intersection. They are in both E and F. While the union of E and F, the element A would be in the union if it is in A or in F. So if it is in A alone, not in F, it would be in the union. And if it is in F alone, not in E, it would be in the union. And if it is in both of them, it would be also in the union. So this is the union everything so e is a subset of the union f is a subset of the union the intersection is a subset of the union the intersection is also inside the union the complement of e and we write it like this e complement all the elements a in the sample space and not in e so the element either is in E or in E complement. So if there is a sample space, so all the elements of the sample space would be either in E or in E complement. So if I ask you what is E, union E complement, what should you say? Yeah, it is S. And if I ask you what is E, intersection E complement, what would be your answer? There is no intersection. The intersection is phi between E and E complement. All right. So what would be the probability of E and F? We write it like this. Probability of E or F, we write it like this. Probability of E does not occur is the probability of E complement. A card is drawn from a box containing 15 cards, numbered from 1 to 15. So what is the sample space? If we are going to select what? One card. A card is drawn. If you select one card, this is the probability experiment, selecting a card. Can you say an outcome? Well, an outcome could be any number from 1 to 15. What is the set of all possible outcomes? set of numbers from 1 to 15. So this is the sample space. The question, of course, each card has the same chance to be selected. So this is an equally likely experiment. And the probability of each number here, each card would be 1 over 15. So he says, what's the probability that a card is even and divisible by 3? So let us find all even numbers, numbered cards from 1 to 15. The even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. And let us find the numbers divisible by 3 and call it D. So the numbers divisible by 3 from 1 to 15 are 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Now, he is asking about what? What is the probability that the card is even and divisible? 
So in fact, he is asking about the probability of E intersection D. Well, what is E intersection D? How many elements in E intersection D? They are the even numbers that are divisible by 3 at the same time. So we have 6 and 12. All the other numbers divisible by 3 are odd. 3, 9, 15 are odd. So these are the only two elements in the intersection. So the probability would be 2 over 15. What is the probability of even or? So he's asking about E or union D. Okay. So what is E union D? If I ask you to find this set. So E union D means all the elements in E and D. So I will write first all the even numbers, num numbers from 1 to 15 and add the numbers from D that are not even. So 3, 9, and 15. So this is E union D. How many elements are there? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 7, plus 3, 10. Okay, 3, 6, 9, 10. So there are 10 elements in E union D, and it's equiprobable. So the probability that a card is one of these would be 10 over 15. Not even. Well, this is these are the even numbers. How many numbers? 2, 4, 6, 7. And we have 15 numbers. So if 7 numbers are even, 8 numbers would be not even. So the probability of not even, which is probability of E complement, would be 8 over 15. If a ball is drawn from a bag containing four red balls, numbered one to four, three white balls, so red and white, from five to seven, total number of balls is seven, what's the probability that the ball is red and even? Okay. Red, we have one, two, three, four. Even, we have... 2, 4, and 6. E and R, red and even. We can write it E and R, or R and E. It is the same. So what are the elements in both sets? 2 and 4. So what is the probability of red and even? There are two numbers. So it's 2 over 7 because the total numbers of 7 and each ball have the same chance to be selected. So it's a probable, equiprobable uh, experiment. White and even. Okay, white. What are the white balls? 5, 6, and 7. Even. This is the even balls. 2, 4, and 6. So what is W intersection E? There is only six. So the probability of white and even is one over seven. There is only one ball there. Its probability is one over seven, not red. How many red balls? Four. So this is the probability of not red. So red complement. 4 red, so 3 are not red, or 3 are white, okay? So the probability is 3 over 7. Now, what is the number of elements inside E complement? Okay. The number of elements inside S, the sample space, minus the number of elements in E. Because all the elements not in E are in E complement. So what would be the probability of E complement? It would be 1 minus probability of E. So probability of E complement is just 1 minus probability of E. 
and you notice that this this is really the case probability of r complement you could find it like this one minus probability of r and probability of r is four over seven because there are four red balls so the answer is three over seven so you can use a formula for the complement not a means one minus probability of a suppose that a 50 year old man has systolic blood pressure of 110 and that 60 percent of his cholesterol is hdl the risk of heart attack in the next 10 years is given in this table so this is the risk of heart attack with this cholesterol uh, so uh, 130 total cholesterol 1% risk of heart attack and so on uh, this is the cholesterol level so if a man satisfying these conditions is selected at random and has a cholesterol level of 200 so this is the cholesterol level of 200 what is the risk of heart attack it is two persons so what is the probability that he will not have a heart attack by age 60 so not having a heart attack let me say heart attack h and not having a heart attack so the probability of h prime so this is one minus two percent or 0 0.02 and the answer is 89 percent or 0.98 so that's the probability not having a heart attack if the probability that event e will occur is three over five what's the probability that e will not occur so he's asking about probability of E complement and this is one minus probability of E which is three over five so the answer is two over five now what would be the formula for uh, probability of E or F let us think of the number of elements in E union F union or or well as we have seen the number of elements in E union F, everything. If you add the numbers of E, if this is E and you took all the numbers of E and add the numbers of F, okay, then this area, which is E intersection F, you, you counted this area twice when you took the number of E and the number of F when you added them. Number of E intersection F was there two times. So you subtract one of them, you will get the number of all elements in the three regions. So the number of elements in E union F is number of elements in E plus number of elements in F minus number of elements in E intersection F. And the probability would be like this. So because the probability is number of elements over the number of elements in the sample space, so the probability of E union F would be probability of E plus probability of F minus probability of the intersection. So this is a formula. You can always use it to find the probability of E union F. Suppose that of 30 people interviewed for a position, 18 had a business degree. So let us call business degree uh, D and the number of people uh, with a business degree is 18. So let me say in D, number of elements in D is 18. 15 had a previous experience. So let me call experience capital E and the number of people who has previous experience is 15. Now eight of those with experience also had a business degree. So number of elements of people who have degree and experience okay business degree and previous experience is what is eight eight of those with experience also have a business degree so if one person is selected at random what is the probability that he has a business degree or so the what is the probability of the business degree or experience well, the formula says probability of D plus probability of E minus probability of D intersection E. And what is the probability of D? We have 30 people. So the number 
of elements in the sample space is 30. So probability of D would be number of elements in D over number of elements in the sample space. Also probability of E, also probability of D intersection E. So the probability of D union E would be 18 plus 15 minus 8 over 30. So it's 25 over 30. Suppose that in a given year, the probability that the Steelers will win their division is 1 over 6. The probability that the Jets, this is another team, will win their division is 1 over 12. The probability that both will win, so this is the intersection, is 1 over 24. So we have probability of S, if S is Steelers, 1 over 6. Probability of Jets, of FG as just Jets, is 1 over 12. And both means Steelers intersection Jets. The probability is 1 over 24. So what is the question? What is the probability that one of them will win? One of the teams will win. One of the teams will win means S union J. What is the, the definition of the union? Either S or J, okay, or both, but S or J. So now one of the teams means S union J. So it's probability of S plus probability of J minus probability of the intersection. And you just use your calculator to find the answer. The answer would be 5 over 24. So this is the probability of both would be winning. Uh, one of them would be winning. If a ball is drawn from a bag containing four red balls, three white balls, what's the probability that the ball is red or even? Yeah, I think we, we solved uh, this question. White or even? Was it the same question? Yeah, yeah, it is the same question exactly. So uh, please check it by yourself. Yeah, but here he is asking about red or even. Okay, here he was asking about red and even. All right, let us solve it again. You remember that we said that red, uh, how many red balls? One, two, three, four. And even uh, two, four, and six. Okay, so he's asking about the probability of R, red, or even. So this would be probability of R, how many elements in R, 4 over 7, plus probability of E, how many elements, 3 over 7. And now, do we have anything in E intersection R? Well, yeah, we have 2 and 4. So we have to subtract probability of E intersection R. This is the formula for the union. So 4 plus 3 minus 2 is 5 over 7, and that would be the probability of the union. White or even, well, what do we have in the white? We have 5, 6, 7, and white and even intersection E. Where is E? 2, 4, 6. It is only 6. So he is asking about the probability of white or even. So it's probability of white, which is 3 over 7, plus probability of even, which is 3 over 7, minus the probability of the intersection, which is 1 over 7. So 6 minus 1 is 5 over 7. This is the probability of white or even. Now, I'll stop here and continue uh, the next point in another video.